Hello, friends. Well, it's a belated holiday greeting to you. Uh, we have not vlogged for quite some time because of the business of the ending of the semester and likewise family activities. So we did have a grand time because my family is complete. We got my two children visiting us over the holidays. All right. Thank you. Do we need a few more minutes? Yeah, I think we are ready to order. We are ready. All right. So 2022 is now history. So if life is considered like a book, so we're now going to begin another chapter for 2023. So what went, what happened during 2022? We have our own ups and downs, but I will not consider the downs as really an unfortunate events that happened, but rather those made us first feel frustrated, made us cry a little bit, but all of those strengthen more our faith in God. So that's part of life. It will never be like uh, petals, just like a rose. It has petals, which means the gloriness of or the happiness of life, but it has also thorns. That means to say that we feel frustrated, we feel sad, but life continues on. So 2023, what do we look forward to? Well, it's big major events that will happen in our lives in 2023. So first is the first birthday of our grandchild Ellie, which will take place at the end of the month. So she's now one year old. We're not counting months anymore, but we are counting years. And then our youngest son, Dion, will be graduating May of 2023. And um, Leigh is coming back here because she's, she has been a traveling nurse for since the pandemic 2020. And so finally she said, Mom, I'm going home. So those are the events that we look forward in 2023. But of course, it doesn't mean to say that there are no more events. The daily life can always give us happiness. So we are going to begin our good memories as the start of 2023. And this is it. This is the first. All right. Eating out in a restaurant. And we are, where are we, my dear? BJ's. All right. We are here in BJ's room. And I guess people are tired of eating leftover, so they would like to start the new year with uh, dining out, okay? To start out their fresh new year. So, and we set our order already, did we not? Yes. All right. So, we'll see you later once the food is here on our table. All right. So we had our order already. So we have the avocado roll as our appetizer. Trying to be healthy because I have been eating meat since the start of the holiday. So I have the seared ahi salad. And then he got his burger, bacon guacamole burger with a side of uh, sweet, uh, sweet yam, right? All right. So this is already, today's date is January 1st, 2023. So the appetizer came in, and so we ordered the avocado roll. And so, well, it's a roll. So this is the inside of the roll. I don't know whether you can really see it, but it's actually avocado, carrots, and a little bit of creamy cheese inside, wrapped in a crispy uh, spring roll wrapper. And then, and on the side, it may look like a soy sauce to you, but perhaps it is. Or a different kind of sauce, but it has a it has I'm sorry it has a sweet taste to it. Okay, so let me take the first bite. Okay. So what they did is that I'm sorry. All right, so there is a guacamole inside, a smashed avocado. It has the creaminess of the cheese that I taste. And then um, uh, thin, uh, it is actually good. I was just describing it. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So it's a good appetizer. 
okay together with the sauce but actually in my case i don't really need the sauce because the guacamole taste is more enhanced without the sauce in it so i'm going to enjoy my appetizer and see you later again when the food comes okay so after biting the first bite of my appetizer the food came so on my plate is the seared ahi tuna salad so you will see the ahi tuna there perfectly cooked okay try to be healthy for a while as the start of my 2023 always have that resolution to eat healthier so let me start it this way but then my partner got this burger can you see it can you uh, let me turn it there you go so what do you see in there it's a guacamole burger with bacon all right it's a guacamole burger with bacon yeah. and then we decide off sweet, sweet potato, potato fries. fries so and the bread is not the regular buns but he chose the sourdough bun okay so let me have a first bite this is already drenched with its sauce, so I don't need any other sauce that comes with it. So it's perfect. It's, it's not like a ahi tuna, I guess. But let me have my first bite of my salad. So I have a perfectly perfectly cooked ahi. Uh, it has a vinegar uh, vinaigrette dressing to it. Mm. The good thing about this one is that the vegetables are not drenched or are not heavily drenched with the vinaigrette. So you still have the taste of the vegetables and not just the vinaigrette itself. Plus, of course, the crunchiness of the veggies. The tuna, it's fish, but it doesn't really taste like fish to me. And because it has been uh, seasoned with salt and pepper on the side, so the combination is that I don't feel the fishiness of the food. Or do it for her. Very good, thanks. All right, no worries. Okay, so what about your burger? Go ahead and taste the first bite. You want me to? All right, oh, this is a big bite of a burger. Oh, first is of course the sweet potato fries you will never go wrong with this one it's sweet on its taste perfectly seasoned with salt it's not salty and then the sweetness of the of the yam is not just the saltiness and the sweetness of it okay for the burger oh my goodness that's a big bite of burger in there we started off okay all right oops oops i'm sorry all of them are falling all right the inside is it has um uh onions uh what do they call that the kind of cooking that the onion have there yeah it's a caramelized onion it has jalapeno that just fell off on my plate it has also um uh red raw onion to it and then first bite Dang, I cannot even bite them. Okay. Hmm. All right. The bread itself is not drenched with any other dipping. So, it has the bread is good for me. The the bacon of definitely tastes like bacon. The meat I have not really have uh, bitten the meat because it has. But it surely has a good taste of it. You see the onions and the jalapeno that fell off it? It just makes a good combination. All right, let me enjoy my food and I'll talk to you again later on. All right, so our lunch is over. I still have some leftover of the salad because it's a mountain full of salad. Fresh veggies with... Um, um, Kale, lettuce, cucumber, red bell peppers, and of course the ahi tuna that makes it perfect. 
and then we still also have a leftover of our avocado rolls so this is it for today we started the new year with fresh food new food not the leftover food from the holidays and so we just hope that this will continue on thank you again for viewing thank you for subscribing and please leave us a comment on how we can improve our vlog and happy new year to you as well bye